what you do to us. We're totally committed because we know you're murderers. And we know there's no future if we don't stop you murdering control freak eugenics filth. Okay, Maggie in California, you're on the air. Welcome. Thank you. Um, I went to the uh, Drudge Report and I clicked on the DHS link. And I got about five and a half minutes into it and I was horrified. Everything you said was true. So I called Senator Lieberman's office, who oh, is the chairman. The Mossad officer? And I got nothing, no response. I mean, it was just whatever, lady. And so I called my own congressman's office, and not much better response. And I thought, you know, one person can't do it. But I explained that crime is not a color. And why aren't you focusing on the 99.9% .9 of the terrorists that are attacking everyone in the world. And I just, my encouragement to everyone listening is look at the report, look at the video, look at the history, and start calling everybody you can think of to call. Exactly. Let me system. add this, because let's just say the Muslims did 9-11 and NORAD stood down and the Easter Bunny's real. Why in the internal manuals is it all about non-Muslims? Why did the head of Homeland Security a month ago, uh, Mr. Napolitano, why did he say, I mean, she say that, 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 that the number one threat is domestics and that it was illogical to profile and focus on Muslims? If the Muslims really did 9-11 and this is all for 9-11, well, then why is it for everybody? Because, I'm sorry, ma'am, go ahead. No, um, you're making valid points, and I go back to that Missouri report, the DHS connected thing several years ago. Everybody in there was a Christian or a Second Amendment or a Libertarian, and those are the core values of America. And it seems like anything, I, my father was a paratrooper. He jumped out of perfectly good airplanes in Germany in World War II. So I was raised to love my country. And I am horrified at what I'm seeing. Well, you love the troops and the old America that was good. But this corp, America has had a corporate takeover happen. And so, of course, they're destroying everything that is the spirit of the United States and then wrapping their tyranny in the flag and hoping to confuse people. But folks are waking up. I, if everybody calls, maybe we can, I don't know, maybe I believe in the tooth fairy too. No, no, no. I think it's good to call them and let them know it's a scam, but also let other people know it's a scam and get the article out to everybody. Good job, Maggie. Now, this story has gone mega viral. It is on thousands of news sites now. I mean, this is going to be one of the biggest reports we ever put out because uh, folks are finally getting it. I told you this was coming. Thank you, Maggie. Kate in Florida, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. Uh, I know it's no laughing matter, but for, I just I just want to say I could listen to you for three hours doing voiceovers with this with videos like this. It's hilarious, man. Well, but, uh, it, it is hilarious if it wasn't so dangerous. I mean, they're getting ready. I mean, they're not saying TSA is going to be on the streets for nothing. They're going to start blowing stuff up and then saying we're allowed to be anywhere and stick our hands down your pants anywhere. And they're announcing they're going to start groping genitals at malls, on the sides of highways. Uh, taking blood under federal grants without warrants. They want in your person. They want to touch you without warrants. They want in your life. Sure. I mean, the, the writing on the wall is, is pretty transparent for anyone that is awake to see. But what I fear is, and I, I, I hope it's not the vast majority, but I hope the, I, I fear that the vast majority of people will not be able to see through this and actually get into such a you know a frenzy of fear and think that they can call the terrorists and report terrorism uh and when you know a house divided amongst itself cannot stand and when the excrement hits the fan which i fear like you that it will eventually regardless of its terrorism or if it's you know financial terrorism i just think that people divided and, and arguing amongst each other is going to be the biggest obstacle that we, and I, when I say we, the enlightened, the people that can... The awakened. Are well, no, you're right. We had so much liberty that we became decadent and slovenly, and now a lot of spoiled, rotten Americans have got a rude awakening coming, and it's going to be stage terror along with financial terror because they're going to want to make you rally around the terrorist who will claim they're protecting you. So I'm telling you, you can see all the prescripting, just like we saw before 9-11. They're getting ready to pull the trigger. And it is going to be hellish. I appreciate your call. Anything else, Tate? 
No, but I uh, I just encourage everyone, like you said, to uh, to you know call like the the woman the previous caller just said, or or get just get the word out as best you can, and that's all we can do. But I appreciate your. Uh, your, your patriotism, Alex, and, and God bless, and have a good rest of the day. Well, thank you, Tate, but it's not even patriotism. I love the old republic. I love what America really stands for. It isn't perfect, but it's heads above. It's a million miles better than anything else we've seen in the world. I've studied history. It works. It's great. We've gotten away from it, so it's not working. It's like 93-octane gas works great in your car. If you put water in it, it's not going to work. You don't put water in your car and then it doesn't start, and you blame gasoline for it. You know, they're blaming the Constitution when the Constitution isn't being put in the engine. Now, I'm going to go back to Janice and uh, Jeannie and uh, Mike and Mark and others here in a moment. But, but, folks, I'm not just saying this for theatrics. The bankers have gang-raped us financially. They're imploding the country by design. And they've set up an architecture of police state against the American people built around terror. And they have to provide that terror, as Governor Ridge admitted, to get you to politically rally around them. So they're getting ready, okay? They're getting ready to stage terror attacks and blame it on the American people. Let's go ahead and take another call. Janice in Texas here on the air. Go ahead. Hi, Alex. So glad you're talking about this today. Um, for the past, like, three months, they've been advertising this the show on, on Showtime, and it's by the makers of 24, the, everybody that was behind the Jack Bauer. Oh, yeah, no, no. Okay. They mirror this in propaganda placement uh, all over the sitcoms, the dramas, the action shows, where the terrorists are guys that believe in chemtrails and fluoride in the water, and then they try to murder everybody in the city. No, exactly. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Sorry, go ahead called Homeland, oh. and it has the, the FBI document with everything being blacked out, and Claire Danes plays this FBI so-called maverick agent who they find a, a guy that was captured in 2003, and she's telling the FBI, he's been turned, he's been turned, and oh, I need to spy on him, they're saying, and there's this like Alan Watts type character who's saying, oh, you can't do that, it, it's unconstitutional, and she's going, no, we'll get hit, we'll get hit, and they... And exactly, just, the Constitution's going to make the terrorist hit us, we've got to get rid of it, we've got to get your bank accounts, I mean, keep you safe from Al-Qaeda, uh, Again, I can't even watch TV. It's in the uh, – sometimes my wife watches these medical shows and you know, dramas and things, and I'll watch it with her. And it's just – she goes, look at this. Every episode, pro-abortion. Every episode, the bad guy talks about freedom. No, they're getting ready. We are the terrorists, okay? I mean, in all the internal manuals, it is the veterans, the gun owners. And it's the veterans and the gun owners going, get them Arabs. Take their rights away, not knowing the whole thing's always been for them. And then I see these conservatives go, well, it's Obama doing this now. No, Obama, Bush, they read off teleprompters. They don't run jack. This is a long-term strategic Pentagon, RAND Corporation, full-spectrum dominance takeover. Well, it's called Homeland, and they are after the vets. Oh, the veterans are terrorists on the show. And Claire Danes is the only FBI woman who knows. Stay there. And Tell so me more about the show since you've seen it. Yeah, you know, I... On my TV show, I need people to send in clips of this to us. I'm going to, because I can't watch it, I'm going to show clips from sitcoms, dramas, cop shows. Because every time I turn TV on and catch one, it's, he believes the government's putting stuff in the vaccines. He also rapes children. I mean, it's just pure demonization. Because we know they're the terrorists. Optic. Yeah, I've seen the trailer for Homeland. And it's too painful. I should watch more mainline TV because I always get energized. Because we watch very little TV. Sometimes late at night we'll turn something on. And it's just all, if you don't trust the government, if you love freedom, you're murdering children in your basement, you're planning to buy a weapon in New York, and it's it's like every show I turn on. And you've got these, these arrested development, childlike people watching it who really believe this is real, who really believe Obama launched peace in Libya, who really believe he can do whatever he wants without Congress who really believe George W. Bush found WMDs in Iraq. You know, 54% in major polls of American conservatives believe WMDs were found in Iraq, even though it's admitted they weren't. Though I've predicted for years they're going to roll them out later like bin Laden. I know how they work. I know how they work. And and why am I risking my life to bring you this information? Because there's no future for anybody if these people win. Do you understand these aren't some boss hog tyrants that just want to rob stuff? 
These are eugenicists. Their religion is the state is God. Their religion is set up world government, cut off resources, and end the family as it's known. I'm resisting them. I'm all in, totally committed. People say, don't you have bodyguards? Don't you worry when you walk around at night? No, I don't worry about none of it. Whatever, it's in God's hands. I'm fighting total murdering scum who staged 9-11. You think I'm going to just sit here and cower because they're killers? If you don't admit that government sponsoring terror and that our government isn't our government anymore has been taken over, America will die. Liberty worldwide will die. They are going to use stage terror to destroy every basic freedom. I got a stack of news here. We're in Florida. They're illegally selling your driver's license data and personal info to anybody that wants it, making $63 million a year. And it's illegal, and they don't care. Uh, that cops have got scanners tracking people everywhere they go in the cities, and that it's illegal. What type of society are we creating? As civil rights lawyer Harvey Silvergate, along with the ACLU. The Big Brother database that could map drivers' whereabouts with police cruiser-mounted scanners that captured thousands of license plates. It's already in everywhere. It's already in on those cameras on the polls, folks. It was in 15 years ago in almost every area of the country. started in Indiana and Texas. Police to begin iPhone iris scans amid privacy concerns. You mean to keep going here? Oh, Austin just published the 10 water wasters, uh, the, the private citizens that waste too much water, publicly pillaring them for their environmental crimes. Meanwhile, the globalists are GMO engineering every major crop on record to sterilize us. That's not an environmental crime, though. Somebody having a broken water pipe under their house for a month, they need to get published in the paper, just like people that have concealed carries get published in the paper. If you don't wake up to these crooks... That are out of control, they're not going to let you plant a garden in your front yard. <gasps> Already happened. <gasps> they're not going to let you have a garden in your backyard. They're not going to let you pack your child's school lunch. The federal courts have already ruled your children aren't yours. They're the states. Don't believe me? Just search that term. These people, folks, tyranny's the norm worldwide. We got a case of it. A bad case in the 21st century making it particularly nasty. Janice, we're going to break here in a moment, but finish up this, the, the, the show Homeland where the vets are all terrorists, the conservatives are terrorists. Go ahead. They find this guy in, in Iraq. They blow something up, and he's in a cave, and he's like, I'm American. He's this red-haired, light, blue-eyed guy. And Claire Day is like on this FBI mission to go after every POW because they've been turned. Oh, you can't go to Iraq and fight for your country without coming back and being a terrorist. That's Which is totally that's made it. up. That, that, that They have taught all the police departments in the country on our homeland security starting three years ago that – IEDs will attack even your small town. It will be vets that do it. They're teaching police to have a purge of the military. I'm sorry, and the TV show is simulating this for folks? Sorry, go ahead. Oh, totally not even... It's, Let me yes, guess, just, does he IED people? Because that's what they teach the cops. Yes, and they're trying to tell her not to do it, and she's like, I know Murderers. he's earned. I've got to get him. Ugh. She's in his phone. She's got a telescope. She's he, uh, just after him. And let me guess, and he is just... a terrorist in the end? All right, short little five-minute segment. And uh, the manuals for a decade have been the veterans are going to get you, the conservatives, the libertarians, the gun owners, the farmers. we got to arrest them. Marines training to mow down. Farmers, I've been to the drills. Children training to go in their parents' houses and get their guns. We've got the footage of the drills. And it being admitted, Marines coming up with guns in Maryland saying, turn your cameras off. It's all confirmed. A giant secret buildup, bigger than the Cold War, against the American people. And that the government is run by criminals. They're going to stage terror attacks to get it done. And every sitcom, drama, cop show I watch, randomly, you turn it on. There's a guy going, there's chemtrails, they're spraying, they're, they're weather modifying. And then he goes down to a dungeon with little kids he's torturing. The message is, you're into chemtrails, you're torturing kids. Next episode, there's a guy who's uh, worried about vaccines killing people. He plans to release a bioweapon in New York. He's warning you about a bioweapon in the vaccines where governments have been caught over and over again. He's the one that's going to do it. And yes, they've had nationwide training for three years. Cops everywhere are hearing this and going, how does he know it? Because I get all the documents from cops that aren't idiots. And they're training them. Veterans will attack your police station. Every place in the country will be attacked with improvised explosive devices. And I asked Janice, she was talking about the show Homeland. I haven't seen it. I've seen the trailer. And I said, let me guess, the veterans they're tracking are going to have IEDs to kill cops. And she says, yes, that's the episode. I already know. I know the script. 
They're teaching everyone that if you're not an idiot and you own guns, you're the enemy. Because the foreign banks are going to gang rape America. And they're not going to let scumbag armed Americans that.